Have you ever seen a $600 bow sight? You have now. Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here with PodiumArcher.com talking about the Option Archery Canyon Pounders. It's a new site from Dan Evans, the owner and founder of Option Archery. Small little backstory for you. Uh, I've known Dan since I was in high school. Uh, we worked together in um, my dad's general sporting goods store when I was a kid and in the archery department down there before Dan started Trophy Taker originally, which was sold and then he founded Option Archery. Uh, but he came out with a site that we talked about originally when he came out with his option that I wanted him to put it on a movable body and he finally came out with it. So we just got these in today. If you're familiar with his sites at all, it's a very ingenious idea. It's a couple different configurations. This is a flip head. So you have a fixed one pin with optional multi pins without giving up anything by having a movable site or a fixed pin site. So when this is in its standard position, you have 20, 30, 40, 50, if that's how you want to set it up. And if you want to shoot just a movable, you pop that out of the way. And then this has your same movable chassis, just like everything else. So you still have a clear sight picture. This is a granulated reference scale for figuring out what sight tape you need. And then they come with a whole bunch of sight tapes, just like most other movable sites do. And some pretty elaborate directions. And I want to say Dan's putting a, a video up on YouTube uh, explaining how to sight these in, but all the different granular numbers for what sight tape goes on which setup off your reference scales. It's really not too terrible to get it sighted in. However, they offer something that nobody else does and the ability to have a multiple pin and a one pin sight picture. This is the standard direct mount version and the prices are, it looks really complicated on the website because you have to click on each one to find out how much they are, but I narrowed it down really simple for you. The direct mount model is 575. The Picatinny and the Dovetail are 595. And then if you want it in a four pin configuration or a five pin configuration, add $10 for each one. So four pin would be 585, five pin would be 595. And then these snazzy little cases that these came in, these are an additional $25. So if you want to get those, that's where you get them. Uh, he has a lot of dealers across the country, so your local shop may or may not have these or might be a dealer for these. But if not, uh, you have to go to optionarchery.com to purchase these. He's a direct company on the online portal. I can't sell them to you, and neither can anybody else. It's just him. Um, and we're going to have a link in the bottom of this video in the title of it to be able to go to his website and get right to this page so you can check these out. But we got one of each model so we can show you a fitment and how well they fit on the bows. So that's your direct mount. And we've got a Hoyt with a Picatinny mount, and we've got a Matthews with a bridge lock, which that's your bridge lock. And then we've got a standard direct mount that we'll put on our Bowtech that we'll grab from over there. The, uh, the gearing in this is a lot faster than most other movables. So if you look at that knob position and how quickly it moves, um, let me grab uh, this, that Picatinny one. You can get a little closer there. If you watch that chassis move, that's a custom machine thread. So it moves very fast and it's very smooth. You do not need to lock this down. There is no locking on it. It's one of the only movable sites that if you feel it, it is rock solid and it still moves. It's a pretty slick, slick unit, really high quality. And it's, he's, a, he's a smaller company as far as site companies go. So he hand checks every one of these before they go out. Him personally is hand checking each one. So that's pretty cool. They are running a promotion. Um, I want to say it's up till about February 15th. We're going to try to launch this video this weekend. So you'll have a little bit of heads up. They'll do custom for you. So if you want different diameters of pins, different colors, you can order it in any config you want and they won't upcharge you for that. After February 15th, it's going to be another $35. Just FYI, if you're wanting one, that probably be the way to do it. So let's see how this fits on the bridge lock. Uh, dovetail fits good, real comparable to most of the other ones now that all got redesigned. Line it up here. And the indent matches real good with the indent there. And we'll take a look at our left to right adjustment here and see where it comes out. Looks like there's a decent amount of movement back still. That's pretty close to where it's going to side in left to right. So there's enough clearance on that. 
Those look like there's uh, positions of holes in the back here. So you can move this up and down with all these different hole positions to get your starting point as optimal as possible. But whenever you're trying to shoot a long distance, make sure you put your arrow and your bow on your rest with your rest up and move the sight down until you run into where the arrow is. So you don't accidentally keep shooting until you slam your sight into your arrow. And this will give you a maximum range out to as far as you can possibly shoot before you run into your arrow. So that's a good fitment on the Matthews. Let's check the, uh, the Hoyt fitment with the uh, Picatinny mount. Pull this screw out. Now there's several bows that are offering this Picatinny mount now, so it's not just a Hoyt, but Hoyt invented it, so I figured it was appropriate to put it on a Hoyt. Just check the fit and see how it goes. That's a good rigid snug fit. We take a look at our <coughs> left right. That's about where it's going to side in left to right, so there's definitely enough movement back in there to do that. And yeah, that, it's just really smooth. I can't explain it to you enough, folks, until you actually put your hands on that and move it back and forth, but it's just, it's really clean. Um, the movement on it is just really nice. So let's grab our, our Bowtech and we'll hook on the direct mount and take a look at that. Um, I did get these in just for the examples in the different pin configurations that they offered, if I remember right. So this one, where your up pin is fixed and then you're two more or below it, that'll actually allow you to shoot a little farther. The closer you get those pins to the bottom, the more range you're gonna get out of it. And then I wanna say this one is the standard five pin configuration where your 20 and 30 are above, your 40 is fixed and your 50 and 60 are below. So you're not giving up range once again, but then you pop that out of the way for that. And then their other configuration, which mind you, they'll build it however you want. You gotta pay extra, but there's three standard configurations. That's the other four pin configuration. That's for maximum range. So when you're siding these in, the bottom pin's gonna end up barely over the top of the level. That'll give you your farthest distance. So if you're all about the long bombs and how far you can go, you probably wanna order that four pin configuration because I almost guarantee a fifth pin in there isn't going to be usable. Your drop isn't going to allow you to use it unless you're using like a 330 grain arrow or something like that. So let's mount that up to the Bowtech. A couple other things to note that I didn't mention out of the gate, there is a, a light system for these. You can put a light here, which will brighten the pin fibers that are in this housing. And then it also does adapt another light here, so the movable is also lit, which in this scenario is fixed, not movable, but that would be just the one pin bright. So that is an option. There is a rail adjustment, there's head adjustment for leveling, and I wanna say there's a third yeah, there's a third on here somewhere, if I remember right. Oh, it's in the bubble here. You can tighten or loosen the bubble and adjust the third. So these all have rail adjustment and first, second, and third authentic adjustments, which are a must for me when you're shooting a long distance. So that looks like that left and right lines up real good. So all three of them will fit and work on most bows without any windage adjustment, uh, taking it out of the norm. Um, $600 is a lot for a sight, folks. I'm not going to lie. But if you want something that's multiple pin, true precision, long distance, and quality tolerances with all rail adjustments, you're not going to find a lot of them that aren't at least 400 and have an option to rotate the pin heads out of the way and just have one pin is a feature that nobody else offers. So definitely take a look at them, check them out. But, you know, they're expensive, so keep that in the back of your mind. Head on over to podiumarcher.com for all your archery needs.
accept that because we can't sell it to you. But there is a link on this video for Dan's website that'll take you right to the Canyon Pounder and you can take a look at it. Uh, are there any other products you want us to look at that we haven't looked at or tested or reviewed? Put comments down below. I want to see them as much as I can as possible. And I want to say one more time, I think February 15th, if you want to build a custom one, they'll waive the $35 fee. So hop on over there and pick one up if that's of interest to you. But on all the different bows and the different configurations, they do make one that fits really well on every bow. So that's something really positive to look at. So. This is definitely a one-of-a-kind, unique product that nobody else makes something like it. So if you're interested in something that's more versatile than most other things, it's definitely worth a good look. Awesome site. Go see Dan at uh, optionarchery.com. Tell him I sent you.